Hi, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change primary domain on Bluehost. So the first thing this we'd like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here, in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open this browser, make sure to go into this URL section and simply type bluehost.com and hit the enter button, which will actually take you into this page, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Bluehost website. Of course, if you want to log in into your account, and if you already have it, simply click as login button at the top right corner. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to click at get started or simply because this choice will get you to choose a plan. And it's going to be a bit expensive because you will have to commit with them for one year. You can simply just go and buy your own domain by clicking at this domains option right here. And of course, it will take you to the page that will give you the opportunity to buy your domain from and from there you can start and create your account with that way also so for me i'm just going to click at login which will log in into my account directly because i already logged in into my account in this pc and this is going to be my screen once i logged in into my account so as we said in the beginning of this tutorial is we would like to change primary domain on bluehost and if we want to do that of course to change your primary domain you can simply just go and rename your domain to your primary domain just make sure that wordpress optimized hosting or the ohwp plans cannot be renamed or cannot be changed to primary domain so of course if you want to make it as primary domain you will have to set it as part or add-on domain after the renewal then of course the process will take like to 20 minutes to five hours depending on your account size and depending on your account size the process can take as i said from 20 to uh, 20 minutes to five hours so the uh, the websites and email hosted on this account will be down while the system changes the, your primary domain which can take anywhere from like a few minutes to an hour or something like that of course your backups as well your username password file database etc will not be changed however it's actually recommended that you download a complete backup for your website's files and database to your home computer as a fail safe against possible file corruption and of course for the file directories the new primary domain will point to the public html directory the same way the current primary domain does now for your custom like configuration, any subdomains or custom DNS settings and email forwarders on the old and the new primary domain will be deleted during the process. And it is your responsibility to set those again, of course. So if you can't remember them, you can just go to your domains and subdomains or click on the whatever domain you have, click on manage and remember all the DNS custom changes, settings, the subdomains, so you can do them again on your new primary domain. And for the Wibbly, of course, changing the primary domain on your account will be all will permanently break the ability to publish an existing Wibbly site on both the new and old primary domain. Of course, you will have to rebuild your website from scratch if you want to do that. So that's actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.